Okay, gamers, here we have the Arcos GamePad. The Arcos GamePad is powered by Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, which was developed last summer and has been an industry standard for tablets. The Arcos GamePad is equipped with a 7-inch capacitive screen that allows up to 1080p video playback. We had a few issues with the Arcos GamePad. The D-pad is actually four separate buttons and not a real D-pad, which makes diagonal movements and changing directions extremely difficult. We also didn't like the screen quality. With 1024 by 600 resolution, the Arcos GamePad is trailing the major competitors. The tablet also was very dim, even with the brightness turned all the way up. The Arcos GamePad is equipped with dual analog slider nubs, which are very frustrating to use when playing shooting or racing games. From our testing, we noticed that the battery life on the Arcos was very poor, lasting only two hours of gameplay. One of the biggest disappointments of the GamePad is the incompatibility of some of the bigger games such as Grand Theft Auto and Max Payne. One of the coolest features of the Arcos GamePad is the mapping tool, which allows you to customize each game controls to your liking. The setback with this is that it only works for a few games. The Arcos GamePad comes equipped with a Mali 400 MP graphics processing unit, which as of today is an outdated unit. The central processing unit is a Cortex A9, which is the same as the Samsung Galaxy S3, but the Arcos doesn't run as well. The gamepad consists of only 8GB of internal storage, which really limits your gaming. However, there is a slot for a micro SD card for additional storage. All of these factors make the gamepad extremely difficult to recommend. At the average price of around $160, I recommend finding another product to fill your mobile gaming needs. Thanks for watching. For more reviews, please subscribe to our channel, Tablet Gaming Reviews. For full written reviews, visit our page, tabletgamingreviews.com.